plan of handjob is, but you know, you guys really don't know. I thought we, you know, we did a good job on him. Uh, you know, five for 15. Uh, and McClanahan just, he kept attacking us to the basket. And that's his game. Uh, we knew it going in. And scouting report, uh, Coach Boyden uh, emphasized and talked about it uh, for three straight days. But uh, there were times we weren't very good, especially late. I mean, you know, they got in that little ball screen. And we weren't alert. We got to backpedaling. We started backpedaling, and, you know, he went and got two or three and ones. That's, that, you can't do that. I mean, if you're going to foul him, don't let him get the ball in the basket. But, you know, uh, fortunately, we were, were able to get out there with a win. You'd have to ask them. If they weren't, they got, then they need to grow up, you know. Uh, I've said all along they need to – mature as a basketball team and if you're if you're asking if they weren't ready then that's a that's a major problem uh because they're not good enough not to be ready uh you know brussia would beat them if we're not ready chris said you guys got down maybe 24 to 9 your constant message was one position at a time is that the blueprint you have to use when you're facing a big deficit like that well i mean i don't have any 15 point plays you know it's one possession and how you do it is Get good shots. Get great shots. Make the extra pass. Not we had too many one pass possessions in the first half. Everybody trying to, you know, do it on their own. Uh, second half we got a little better with that. But you know, I thought in the second half we had like five or six straight possessions where we got stops and we got nothing on the offensive end. Uh, you know, whether it be missed free throws or whatever and and you if you're going to be a team that comes back you you've got to be able to convert those we were fortunate we turned them over and got some buckets and uh sped them up a little bit uh or we'd have been in a lot of trouble well alex uh you know has a, a blood clot in his uh, upper extremity um i can't tell you whether he'll be back in a week two weeks or, or when, uh, you know, doctors are evaluating him, him in that situation, and we will do whatever's in the best interest and in, uh, of Alex and, and his health. So it's it's unfortunate. I thought he was really coming around, but uh, you know, it is what it is. So. Colorado had nine points, nine rebounds off the bench. Huge. He, he, I thought he was the difference. I thought his energy. Uh, was the difference in the basketball game. I, I don't know that there was one possession in the game that I saw Al old Carl take the possession off. He just didn't. He was alert. He went to try to rebound it. And you're not going to play perfect. You're going to make mistakes. But the mistakes that he made tonight, they were because he was too aggressive. They were not because he wasn't alert and reacting slowly. Uh, he was terrific. If we can get that kind of energy and effort out of Volcaro uh, the rest of the season, uh, I'll take that every night. What do you think of the way they defended George? I know he was in foul trouble for a lot of the game, but they, they held him to 11 points and seven of those on free throws. He missed 10 free throws. We got it where we wanted it. You know, he just got to convert them. Uh, I mean, they, they packed it in on him, but I think he showed you you can pack it in. Uh, when he's when he's right, he, he, there's not a lot you can do with him. Foul him, and when he's making free throws, you got problems. I mean, if he makes his free throws, he's got 21 tonight, maybe more than that. I think some of those were front end. So I, I thought second half, I thought our guys did a good job of uh, trying to get him the basketball. Uh, you know, the weak side. I, I remember Caden looking, looking, and recognizing where the help came from, skipping it to TJ in the corner. And that's where we got to get better. Make them pay for, for over helping on George. And there were times tonight where we did that. Hello, Kevin. Kevin, uh, again, it's his knee. Uh, he will have surgery. Uh, you know, is he out for a month? Is he out for the rest of the season? I just don't know at this point. Uh, it's unfortunate. I hate it for Kevin. I hate it for this basketball team. But I've said it many times. He's one of the best teammate kids I've ever coached. Uh, and he'd worked his tail off to get him back in a position to, to be our backup point guard. And, and we missed him tonight. Uh, but uh, the one thing Kevin will be, he'll, he'll still be a great teammate. And uh, 
you know, we'll hopefully, uh, hopefully he'll be okay in time. Got time for one more if anybody has one. With, with Rosto maybe out for a while, do you think we'll see Ben Lawson get some more minutes? Well, I, I thought he would see some tonight. I, I didn't anticipate O'Carroll playing like he did. Uh, yeah, I thought our small lineup was, was our best lineup tonight. That's why, you know, Peyton, I don't know how many minutes he got. He got 14 at the four. Yeah, uh, and, and, you know, Ben missed practice yesterday due to an illness. He had some fever, and so he didn't practice. And that, that probably set him back. I was uh, contemplating starting him tonight um, based on what I'd seen the first couple of days. But, you know, if you can't practice the day before the game, I'm, I'm usually not going to start you. Uh, that's why I'm, that's what happened to Trency a couple of weeks ago. And uh, so – it is what it is, and uh, he's coming. He's getting bigger. He's getting stronger. And do I think he can be a factor for us down the stretch? Absolutely. There's not many guys like him in the league. Um, he's starting to figure it out, uh, you know, that he's got to be a shot blocker and be a guy that changes shots inside. And he's the one guy that we have that can do that, and we don't have anyone else. <clears throat> okay, everybody. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Coach.